Major powers have already spent billions of US dollars, this China, Russia, and the US, towards R&D in this field and producing operational aircraft. USA took the lead by manufacturing F-117, F-22, F-35, and B-2 and to be inducted strategic bomber B-21. China and Russia have miles to go. As of now, neither country has a truly stealthy flying machine. Also called stealth flying machines fall in the category of low observables. C-20 of China and Su-57 of Russia might not be in the low observable category. While we focus on designing a stealthy airframe, we must not lose sight of advancements in radar technology. Experimental quantum radar, if and when it becomes a reality, might change the stealth concept forever. The pace of development of radars and sensors already incorporated in surface-to-air missiles SAM, and air-to-air missiles AAM, is perhaps faster than the stealth design development of modern fighters. The stealth capability or quality of a flying machine can be divided into the physical attributes of stealth and the technological requirements of a stealthy machine. An attempt will be made to discuss the entire spectrum of stealth technology, its operational advantage, and the cost of producing a stealthy flying machine without entering into complex technological jargon and principles employed. Currently, stealth design has created enormous hype and interest. However, the efficacy of this hugely expensive technology is yet to be proven under operational conditions, especially in highly dense air defense environments. All flying objects reflect the impinging radar waves back to the emitter causing the radar to see the flying machine in all three dimensions. The intensity of the reflected signal depends directly on the area and design of the reflecting surface. The stealth attribute of a flying machine is a function of the reflectivity coefficient. The higher the value of the reflectivity coefficient, the easier it is for radar to see. Design stealth is focused on reducing the reflectivity coefficient by providing inclined surfaces, wing fuselage blending, internal weapons bay, embedded air intakes and jet pipes, and composite control surfaces. While discussing stealth, we must confine our discussion to a single aircraft. What will happen to the stealth quality or capability of a large formation? Strike missions invariably are multi-aircraft missions flying in close proximity. The existing inventory of genuine stealth design aircraft is with USAF only. China's J-20 and Russian Su-57 can hardly be termed stealth because of the design and quality of RAM used. No wonder that from F-117 onwards, most USAF aircraft resemble overgrown bats. In the case of F-117, it has been claimed that a similar-sized flat-plate area flying machine will have nearly a hundred times more radar visibility than F-117. In addition, extensive adapting of wings and control surfaces often results in the reduction of maneuverability. A stealth aircraft currently, operational stealth flying machines have achieved a high degree of stealth when ground-based radars are used for tracking because a flying machine presents a side view of a rather small area, resulting in a marked reduction in the reflected signal reaching the radar. Stealth proponents soon discovered that design stealth was not good enough to provide the degree of stealth sought for near certain protection from being seen by the radar. Numerous technologies or methods have been developed viz. iron ball paint, etc., termed as radar absorbent material, RAM. Fully active missiles carry integral radar, which tracks and locks onto the target. This attribute is further enhanced by making a missile head heat sensitive, which enables the missile head to lock onto the target based on heat signature strength. USA has already launched the most modern satellite, carrying SBIRS. However, in the foreseeable future development of SBIRS for aircraft tracking might become a reality. Operational anti-satellite weapons may also be a step toward producing SBIRS systems for aircraft tracking. No space-based sensors can track a fighter aircraft to intercept the machine. However, space-based infrared sensors SBRS, technology has made considerable progress in monitoring ballistic missile launches. If you enjoy content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this video because I appreciate all your support.